I've owned my GS 1100E 42 years. That's more than half of my life. That's more than I know my wife. Longer than I own my house. Longer than I own almost everything in my life. It's It's been a great friend. Super, super reliable and so much fun all those years. I am committed to never selling it. And if you want to join us on this ride today, all you have to do is adjust your device like for any other YouTube video. Now, anytime I'm have, going to have a day to ride the GS, I, I just dream about it the night before. And one of the things I always think of is I have owned this motorcycle over 42 years. 42 years. And I always try to look around the garage. I've owned it more than any other motorcycle that I've ever owned. It is, it is the oldest one in my collection. And I think about the rides I went on years ago, oh, the, the long rides, the, everything about it. It has just been just wonderful memories every step of the road. And every time I ride the bike, I tend to think of some other great adventure I had or some other reason that I love the bike so much. It does so many things well. And today we're going to get out on the open road. Even though it's a cloudy day and a little chilly, we're going to get some mileage on it. Now, pretty much every time I ride the bike, I pre-flight the bike. I call it pre-flighting. I check the chain. I check the t tire pressure. I make sure the oil is good, even though these bikes don't burn oil. But I just like to be totally, to totally over-maintain the bike. And that's one of the things that, that's allowed this bike at 79,000 miles to be almost like a new, maybe even better than a new bike. I've, I've had people look at it at a, uh, a meetup and think it's like it's totally restored. The bike's never been apart, and it's <laughs> the paint is the original paint. I think the front fender was repainted, but I'm not sure. And the, the engine polishing, you know, we put a lot of that on our previous videos. I did the thing about restoring 40-year-old paint, and th these are popular videos. These are videos that uh, I think people could use the information from. But today's a ride day. Now, Karen, we always put this on a video for our friends that... Karen doesn't mind that I ride every day. She actually uh, gives her a little time to read. She likes to read a book a day almost. And, but I do like to get the bike ready, have it cleaned, polished, and then I always like to do any chores I have. Of course, feeding the fish, feed the birds. And some of the work that we've done recently on a garden, we got a 3,000 pounds of egg stone which I put around the pond and in the garden, and it's been a, boy, has that been a, you, when you look at these stones, you think they go in like uh, automatically, they don't. It's work. And of course it keeps you young. Those stones were a labor of love. Boy, oh boy, what a, and all the edging rock in the back. But anyway, just like to show that the friends that are interested in gardening, and by the way, Guy and I are having this tomato race. I'm not sure who's winning yet. But my tomatoes are a foot high. Guy, I don't know how old you are. Time to ride. When this bike was new, we went on a lot of rides, a lot of rides up to the Lake Georgia area. Almost every weekend, this bike was just as comfortable as could be on the interstate or on the back roads. And for a bike to be your best friend for all those years, it's got to have a good power band, smooth throttle response, comfortable ride, nice power. Another thing that's really nice, we have to go through some areas, highly populated, beautiful homes, people are pushing baby carriages, walking dogs, and having a bike that's not offensive, it doesn't 
it doesn't tell you a mile down the road, hey, I'm coming down the road and I'm going through the gears. This bike kind of sneaks up on you. If there's, if there's some kind of law enforcement issue going on, they don't even hear you coming. Usually when they see the bike, they, they recognize right away it's not a bike with a fairing and it, you, you're all crouched over on it. They think you're the gentleman of the road. And of course, the final little thing that makes this bike nice, I have overdrive gearing. So that 30 miles I have to ride out to the riding area every day, the bike is cruising. It's not tearing itself up, not over revving, not like a two stroke is, it's just comfortable to ride. Now, if I'm in the mood for a little break, this is a nice little area. There's some farms. They have various barnyard animals and things here. And it's a nice, a real nice place to stop off. And usually if you do stop off here, within five or ten minutes, bikes are going by. And people stop to see, every time I take pictures, they stop to see if you're okay, which is very nice. This is a nice, friendly, really friendly area of the country. Karen doesn't ride anymore, but when she did ride, this was the bike she liked the best by far. And she would oh, we had a luggage rack on the back at one point in time. There was a time when I had a big cafe racer seat on the back of the bike. I had carbon fiber mufflers for the bike at one time. But in the end, what I enjoy about the bike, you can do all these evil twin things to it. And in the end, just put it back to being pretty much what a stock bike would be. And you can have evil twins, you can have a stock bike, or you can have something unique, or what I like about this bike, it's just as reliable as a stone. Now one of the little things I like, having a nice big tail light, the stock blinkers are easy to see, the front blinkers are on all the time like running lights, there's a lot of little safety things built into the bike you don't really realize. And this riding area has some of everything. Beautiful back roads, very, very low traffic. And all these little villages and little places that you go through, they're really, really off the beaten path. One of the things I do, and I try to uh, share it, is on every ride I try to spend some of the time on these back roads that I don't visit very often. And some of these are really twisty, turny, and they're full of leaves and slippery wet spots. And it just makes for a nice break in a ride when you can take a, a cruise through one of these hidden communities and you don't even know the name of the town. This is probably the best $2,700 investment I ever made. So I paid $2,700 for this 42 years ago. Probably worth a little bit more than that now. I don't buy and sell bikes, so I don't know, and I don't care. I just want to keep it. I want to keep it over-maintained, and I want to ride the wheels off at every chance I get. And that engine, when Suzuki designed that engine, I have no idea who is responsible for the, the design, but boy, it was great 42 years ago. And this morning when I got on it and went through the gears, I was just thinking, I'm not sure it ever got a lot better. And one thing's for sure, I'm going to be 79 years old and this bike is going to outlive me. Now this, I think, is the fourth set of Michelin Commanders that I've had on a bike. And I have found them to be the tire that I prefer. I don't know what other tires, uh, you know, the tires that came with the bike years ago, that you can't buy those type of tires anymore. But And I don't run tubes. I know some people say you can't. 
I have never put tubes in these tires. So, but Michelin Commanders seem to work well for me. And the styling of the bike, I, I am just amazed that over the years, how well the styling on this bike has held up. And no matter what meetup you're at, you, you put this bike among a bunch of modern bikes and it still draws a crowd. Well, on the way back to the ranch, and I always try to go back right at the end of the ride, I go through Lincoln Park to check out the electric airplanes. And I've been watching these. There's four of them now here. There was, there was two not long ago. There's four now. I, I can never seem to uh, find somebody that'll let me get in there. And uh, it's, it's pretty well guarded, to be honest. And, and let me look at them up close and personal. Maybe we'll have that happen soon. And there's a big military helicopter there. There's a nice little restaurant there, by the way, where you can eat outside and watch the airplanes. But we got to get back to the farm. You want to eat on a porch or in a house? We lunch. I missed lunch. Sorry. I missed lunch. She didn't make me lunch today. I'm not working on a farm then. Actually, I had a great day. Beautiful ride. Just couldn't be any better. What a day. Time to have lunch. And this bike has always been such a good friend. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button if you did, and thank you so much for watching.